Welcome to AQSW. In this video, we're covering machining services. To begin, we'll show all of the possible machining services available to add to your design. There are a few that we'll go over, so get ready to pause the video. But first, we'll insert an extrusion to add machining to. The first machining option we'll cover is end tap. To do this, find the insert extrusion end tap button and click. Then find the face of the profile on which you'd like the end tap. Then specify inch or metric taps, select the size of the tap, and click the green check mark to confirm changes. And there you have an end tap. Next is access holes. To add this machining, find the insert access holes button from the toolbar. Select the face on which the access hole needs to be on. Sometimes zooming in helps with this a bit. Then select the face. Next you'll select the slot center plane, which is perpendicular to the face. Then specify left or right end, or both, and enter the distance from the face. Then select the green check mark to confirm. And now you have an access hole. Next is fastener features, which are for anchor and butt fastener counterboards. For this, simply find the insert fastener features button. Specify the type of fastener feature, either anchor or butt fastener, select the T-slot face, and the appropriate plane. Then select the end on which the machining will go. Confirm changes by clicking the green check mark. Now we'll go over counterbore holes. Find the insert counterbore hole button and select it. Then select the slot face for the counterbore. as well as the associated plane. Then specify the end selection and the distance from face. Click the green check mark to confirm. Next up is mitering the ends. To do this, we'll find and click the miter end of extrusion button. Then specify the degree of the miter angle and then select the edge at the bottom of the miter. Click the check mark to confirm and now you have a mitered end. Now we'll look at miter counterbores. For this one, click the insert miter counterbore button. And select the mitered face by specifying the plane to align it with.
Then select the angled miter plane and the horizontal axis for alignment. And now we have a miter counterbore. For central connector milling, find the central connector mill placement button. Select the slot face, and choose the axis. Finally, click on the angled miter plane and then find the green check mark. Select it, and now you have central connector milling. Another machining service we'll go over is a clearance drill between T-slots. To do this, find the insert clearance between T-slot button. Select the slot face and planes for the hole. and then specify the distance from the face as well as the diameter of the hole. And there you have a clearance hole. The final machining we'll look at is manifold access milling. For this one, choose the Insert Manifold Access Milling option from the toolbar. Select the face between slots where the drill through will go. And then select the Plane 1 and 2 options and specify the distance from face. Thank you for watching this AQSW tutorial.